I'm Dakota Tancredi, Waste Reduction Coordinator with Marion County. This is the last part of our video series, and we've learned a lot about where our residential waste goes. But today, we'll be exploring the business side, so where our construction and demolition waste goes to a different facility. Let's check it out. I'm here at the MRF, the Marion Resource Recovery Facility with Kennedy Jancy. So what's your role here, Kennedy? Welcome, Dakota. Thanks so much for visiting the MRF. Um, I am the Community Relations and Recycling Specialist for Mid Valley Garbage and Recycling Association. So Kennedy, tell us a little bit about the MRF. The original MRF started operating in April of 2000. It operated for 21 years before the new state-of-the-art MRF opened in June of 2021. The new MRF sits on approximately 17 acres in Brooks, Oregon and operates seven days a week. Both facilities are owned and operated by the eight garbage and recycling collectors that service all of Marion County and West Salem. I'm excited to give you a tour of our state-of-the-art facility. So before entering onto the tip floor and in the building, all trucks are required to drive over the inbound scales. Let's now move on over to the tip floor. One of the loader operator's job is to floor sort. The other loader operator's job is to push good CND material to the material handler for processing. The material handler sits 14 feet in the air for visibility. Its job is to load material from the tip floor into the shaker hopper, and the shaker hopper's job is to shake all day long and even out the material before it goes up the C2 in feed belt. And when it reaches the very top, it drops down into the slot screen. The slot screen's job is to drop all the material that is eight to 12 inches or less onto a conveyor belt, which then heads towards the debris roll screen and the magnet. The job of the first two sorters is to pull cardboard. The second two sorters job is to pull any metal they see and drop it down the third chute that leads straight to a 40 yard drop box. Anything that makes it past the pre-sort goes through a shredder. Once through that, the material travels past a magnet. Anything the magnet doesn't grab falls onto a conveyor and heads towards the next step of the process, the knee hot. The knee hot is a dual air pressure drum that separates items based on density. Its job here at the MRF is to separate wood, concrete, and residue. From the knee hot, wood and concrete drop into a split belt. On each side of the split belt, we have three to four post sorters. Their job is to do quality control pulling. On one side of the split belt, the concrete continues and drops into a 10 yard box, and we haul that concrete locally, which is used for fill. On the other side of the split belt, the wood continues and goes out the west wall directly into a grinder. We haul about two to three semi-truck loads a day to Ferris Lumber, where they get burned for hog fuel. The goal here at the MRF is to divert as much material as possible out of the landfill for reuse and recycling. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about the disposal process here in Marion County or waste reduction, you can take our free volunteer training, Marion Resources Movement, and visit the website marionresourcesmovement.org to learn more and sign up.